Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Heather Rose Up. I am Heather. Before I get started on this week's weight loss update, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can continue to follow along on my weight loss journey. If you'd like to see how I did this week with staying on plan, keep watching. with my children and my fur child who is a terrible walker stops at everything come on Lucy of course I probably shouldn't blame her it's probably my training anyway I it's Tuesday not Monday I had a busy day yesterday um, exciting stuff about my channel coming up so I was working on that and my goal yesterday was to have two rollovers because I had pre-tracked my day and at the end of the day I had two smart points left over. That didn't happen. However, I still got a blue dot. So for the past three days I've gotten a blue dot. Over the weekend I stayed on plan. My main goal for the week was to just follow plan and stay on plan. So um, even though I didn't accomplish that goal yesterday, I still feel like I'm doing a really good job today and it's a great start for the week. My goal for today is to get out and walk, and as you can see, I'm doing that, and and just to continue to stay on plan for the day. I will check back in tomorrow to let you know how the rest of today went. Happy Wednesday. I'm talking quiet because I had already put my kids to bed. My kids are in bed, it's a little late. So I wanted to check in and do a quick clip before I forgot and skipped another day. We had planned on having something for dinner tonight, and my husband called me up. He was running late, and he said, do you want Chinese food? And I said, yes. Um, long story short, we had Chinese food. I picked somewhat healthier options, and it was an 11-point dinner, which is a little high bit for my liking, but I counted it. I measured it, so I feel pretty proud of that. I will end the day with negative two weeklies though, but I have tomorrow to hopefully get those back and at least end the week with zero weeklies so I can accomplish the goal of staying on plan. But not bad, especially for getting takeout. I'm pretty proud of myself. Small accomplishment um, for the day. But it's kind of a big accomplishment, too. And I did weigh myself this morning, and it, the scale is moving down slowly. Hopefully tonight's meal doesn't affect that. I know that Chinese food has high sodium. But uh, there's always tomorrow, and I'm having a lighter smart point value dinner tomorrow night. Anyway, I will check back in tomorrow to let you know how tomorrow goes. Happy Thursday. Getting ready to do my bi-weekly grocery shopping trip. And I'm sitting in the parking lot and figured now would be a good time to do my daily update and kind of check in and I will show you where I'm at. I am at Aldi. Not sure if you can, well, I realized that where I'm parking there's no sign. You can't see the sign, but for those who know Aldi, that's my local Aldi and yeah. As you can see, it's raining. It's cold. It's like 45 degrees outside. So this should be fun. I usually like to bag my groceries in the parking lot, but I'm not going to be able to do that today. So I have to do it in store. I feel like this is a long all day event. When I go grocery shopping, I usually go to two stores. I go to Aldi and Stop and Shop if you haven't seen my grocery hauls before. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to mentally prepare myself, aka procrastinate and sit in the, the parking lot doing my update. So yesterday I ended the day with negative two weekly smart points. I weighed myself this morning. Uh, tomorrow's my actual weigh-in day, but I weighed myself this morning and I am up a pound. And I'm going to go ahead and thank the Chinese food for that. I, uh, I measured it and I stayed within my points. Obviously I went over a little bit, but um, I do know that it's high in sodium. And my plan was to have some leftovers for lunch today, but I think I'm going to hold off. And uh, I had a zero smart point breakfast. And I'm having like a one smart point dinner. I'm going to have Parmesan tilapia and mixed veggies. 
So we're going to try to keep the sodium down and push some water and hope for the best with weigh-in tomorrow. So I will check back in tomorrow. I would like to check in before my workshop to let you know how the rest of today went because I realized in last week's video I forgot to mention that. So keep watching and we'll see how the rest of today goes. Wish me luck! <laughs>just waking up. I am getting ready to get ready for my workshop this morning. So I look like I just woke up because I did. And I had my coffee. I'm about to weigh in. Fun fact, I don't hold off eat drinking my coffee before weigh in. I've always done that. So if it uh, makes the scale go up a couple ounces, so be it. But I've done that every week. Anyway, tangent. Um, but I wanted to mention how for the past few weeks now I've been getting in the habit of getting ready for my workshops as if I was going to the physical workshop. So I try to get dressed, do my hair, put a little makeup on, and it makes the world of difference. I um, should probably do it more often than just on Fridays because it really does boost my morale and <laughs> my WW coach, my workshop leader is um, kind of well known on Instagram. Her name is WW Works for Me on Instagram. You might know who she is, Debbie. She is just as amazing in person. She's more amazing, more genuine. She is one of the most genuine people I've ever met, and she truly does care about her members that follow her. Um, not only the member, the people that follow her on Instagram or come into her virtual workshops, but every workshop you go in there and you feel like she truly cares about your journey and she is genuine anyway. But if you see her on, on Instagram, you know, she shows up to her workshops looking amazing every week and it's so inspirational and you can see the joy it brings her to do that on her face. So I started doing the same and it really does help. So I'm going to get ready. Uh, yesterday, how did yesterday go? I ended the week with negative two <laughs> weekly smart points. So not quite fully on plan, but oh my goodness, so much better than I have been doing. I tracked this week and I, I um, it's funny because I had mentioned that I had Chinese food on Wednesday and I weighed myself that morning and I had gone down and then I had Chinese food that day. The next morning I weighed myself again and I went up. Goes to show you how much sodium can affect your weight. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna weigh in. I'm gonna shower. I get ready. I can just make myself look and feel pretty and attend my workshop. So let's see how weigh in went. Keep watching. So I'm trying to eat a banana really quick before I start my workshop because I don't want to be on camera eating a banana and if I'm not eating it currently while I'm speaking to you all. <laughs> I got ready, I got dressed, I'm wearing an outfit that I used to love wearing. I'm wearing jeans at home. Yes, my hair is wet. Curly hair, you don't want to dry it. You really don't want to blow dry it mm -mm, unless you have a diff diffuser and all sorts of fancy stuff and I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I put product in it and I let it air dry and it is rainy, so we're gonna rock the curls today. But I have makeup on, I feel good, and I'm ready to start my workshop. Let's see how things go. I weighed in and I will reflect on that afterwards. So it is still Friday. My hair is now dry. <laughs> As you saw in the previous clip, I attended my virtual workshop and it went really well, lots of great advice. When it comes to stress eating, which I will absolutely be implementing uh, throughout the week, and I actually already have done that at some point today. Last week's video, I mentioned getting takeout, and I ended the week, or I actually it was Friday, so I was actually starting my week, um, my WW week. I do my workshops and weigh-ins on Friday, and I had mentioned I was going for ice cream, and I had pre-tracked that. As you saw on Wednesday, I got takeout, which I didn't plan on, but I still measured it and tracked it. 
So even with ice cream and Chinese food, I ended the week with negative two weekly points, which is not bad. And I tracked it all this week. And how did I do? You saw this morning, I was talking about how I had gained throughout the week and I've been weighing myself periodically. And I weighed in at 191.4. Last week I weighed in at 192.4, which means I lost a pound. So my weight did fluctuate with the Chinese food and the sodium, but I still lost a pound. So I trusted the plan, I kept pushing forward, and I lost. So I'm really happy about that. I'm glad that the scale is reflecting the work that I'm putting into it. My goals for next week, I've decided not to do daily goals and do a full week goal. I'm ready to get back into that, and especially since I have been tracking and I've been doing well with that. My goal for next week is to stay in plan again, which I do consider ending the week with negative two weekly smart points. I do think that I stayed on plan, especially since I did track it all. But my goal for next week is to increase my water, and I want to make sure that I'm moving daily. I had mentioned that in my workshop to hold myself accountable, so next week I have to check in and mention how I'm doing with that. Now, how do I plan on keeping track of my daily movement and my daily water? About a year ago, I started this really high-tech tracking device and I'm gonna implement that again. So if you aren't one of my followers from a year ago, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I apologize for the yellow light above me, but this is the tracking device I'm talking about. It's a whiteboard and I walk past it often throughout the day and it's something to help hold myself accountable and to remember my goals throughout the day. Yes, it's a dry erase board. <laughs> I remembered last year I did this and it was something that really helped me with keeping my goals because I'm walking past it often and now that I'm home, I'd walk past it even more. My goals, Friday through Thursday and the goals that I'm making for myself are water and movement. The main goals in addition to tracking. So 32 ounces of water and I will show you my water bottle that I'm talking about. And I actually just completed it for today, so I will check that off. And then movement throughout the day. And I will be checking it off to make sure that I accomplish the goal, and then I will be writing down what the activity is for every day. And then tracking at the end of the day, I will check that off to keep track of whether or not I am tracking through the day. And then the last one is a blue dot goal. It's not necessarily a goal, it's just to kind of keep, keep track on whether or not I did earn a blue dot. So. That's how I'm going to keep track of my goals for this week. Back into some natural light. <laughs> okay, so this is my water bottle, it's my Hydro Flask, and it is 32 ounces, and that might not seem like a lot, but I really don't push enough water. So my goal is to get at least one of these in every day. And I've already finished it for today, so yay on that. So water and movement. And the reason why I want to do some sort of movement and I don't have any big goals for working out, etc., is because I'm not really a physically active person. <laughs> and I realize that I'm struggling, I think, during this time because I'm home. And you stop and think about all of the movement that you have in your normal day-to-day -day life. Walking to my car, walking throughout the parking lot to get to my car to and from work, walking around my bus lot. I'm a school bus driver, by the way. Those kind of movements that you take for granted. So I want to at least make up for not being able to get in that regular movement and then push to do more. So I'm starting off small. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did in any way, give this video a thumbs up. Again, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to continue to follow along on my weight loss journey. And if you have any questions, I am curious to know what your goals are for next week. Leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in a week. Bye, guys. It is Tuesday. And... No, it's not. <laughs> it's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is anymore.